Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Great to have you join us once again. Now then, after I recently um, did decided to do some of these bite-sized short videos, we will just have a quick blast into the past and have a look at some of these old matchbox kits, which some of you may have made yourselves and enjoyed, and uh, I'm sure it'll bring back lots of uh, interesting and hopefully happy memories. So today, rather than have an aircraft, we thought we'd have something a bit different. So we've got the uh, the German half track with a 75 millimeter pack 40 gun and a BMW R75 motorbike and selling car. So how many vehicles? We've got one, two, three, four vehicles. Not bad, actually. So let's have a look at it and get straight in. So this is a model that came out, one of the later ones, actually, not, not the very earliest run. It's an orange range kit, as you can see. And this came out in 77. So, so this is only 43 years old. It's uh, almost relatively new compared to some that we've looked at. Um, on the side, we've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of blurb. Shows the motorcyclist and his sidecar. At the end, we've got a little bit of artwork, slightly different from the cover, which shows uh, the one, two, three, four, four vehicles. And then on the other side, quite a nice artwork showing in more detail the half track with all the men in it, soldiers, motorcyclist again, and the actual pack 75 uh, millimeter anti-tank gun as well. And then on the rear, this, this is one of those things that I think people will really enjoy because what made Matchbox's armour kit so special was they had these dioramas included. Um, it's got a traditional, uh, for 1977 it would have this sort of a window box and it gives you two options. You've got the uh, 11th Panzer Division in North Africa in 1942 or you've got the 19th Panzer Division on the Eastern Front in August 41. But most important, you've got this beautiful uh, North African demolished town with uh, a diorama of a building. Um, interesting that it's got a demolished building, but it's got the German Nazi eagle on it, which is kind of odd. So was that a German building that's been bombed by the RAF? Don't know. I'm not sure what that, what that really represents. But what is, you know, to be noted is just the quality of it, really, and the fact that, you know, other manufacturers, you know, people like... Well, people like Airfix, you know, Airfix didn't do this, they didn't give you a diorama, you'd have to, you could go and buy them separately, but you didn't get it included with the kit. And this made these, again, along with the artwork, and the great design of the boxes, the, the way it sort of lured you in and made you want to buy it, especially when you're of a certain age, youngster. But that adds something that you just don't get with the kit, so you make your little tank, you know. <laughs> But when you've got a tank and it's got a bit of background and a bit of scenery and some figures with it, it just brings it to life and it animates it in a way that competitor products just didn't do. So let's get straight in and have a look anyway. Nice artwork on the front. It does actually say on the cover, sorry I should have really shown you this properly. Um, obviously they're using the, uh, the anti-tank gun, the 75mm in the background on the left as you can see. And it actually says here, in an attempt to outflank the Marif line, Montgomery's 1st Armoured Division is pinned down by the 11th Panzer Corps uh, Division on the El Hamita Plain, allowing the escape of Axis forces to a new defensive line along the Wadi Aladi. Ala Sorry, I'm struggling to read that. Bear with me a second. Ah, uh, I need better glasses. The Wadi Alariti. Uh, the Tabaga Gap in Tunisia, March the 22nd, 1943. So again, a very animated bit of box art, the guns firing, these guys are trying to escape. And a lot of action going on. Also on the end, I didn't show you this, this is quite interesting, isn't it? Again, it dates it. Look at the pricing details. So we've got uh, the shop price, £1.06p. <laughs> and that's actually been, I think that's been reduced. It's actually been reduced, there's been a discount. And that really puts you in mind of prices from the 70s, I have to say. Whoever owned this originally, you know, I think they basically looked after it very well because it's in mint condition. The box is beautiful. So let's have a look very carefully, as we always are with these. Oh, oh, okay, that's the sidecar, it's just fell out. Okay. It actually reminds me of sort of like a piece out of a Monopoly set. Okay. Nope, no more parts, that's good. 
pop that in the background. So we've got the sidecar, it's obviously come off the sprue. And within the sidecar it's actually got um, the seat, you can see, it's got the, uh, the upholstery. I don't know if you make this out on the camera, it's probably too small. I'm going to get anywhere near to do this. Can we focus that? Can you just make out that upholstery uh, bolsters on the seat inside? Hope you can. <laughs> that gives you an idea how small it is. But uh, right, let's have a look what we got. Then. It's quite a, a, a multimedia kit. This I quite like the look of this. So, and we've got a lovely, uh, very nicely printed uh, instruction leaflet. Uh, and it says here, the Zugkraftwagen was one of the standard German artillery tractors that was to see service throughout the Second World War, based on a 1926 design of a vehicle that was basically a truck. Okay, so it's PK171, we're looking at here. On the reverse, oops, I'm sorry there. On the reverse, it's got a rather nice sort of colour call-out sort of artwork, which is quite, quite good, I've got to say. Nice and clear, tells you about where to put your decals, which are mainly number plates here, and a little bit of data about the small parts painting, including the, the Panzer Grenadiers who are actually riding in the back of the vehicle here. Oh, there's more. Well, actually, it's almost like a. I see. So that's one. Okay. So this is the. Uh, so this is the eastern front option. This is the. Uh, the 19th Panzer Division and the North African guys are here uh, with their Africa Corps logo unmistakable there palm tree with a swastika in the middle uh, a little bit simpler the actual um, painting scheme but very good and then it gives you the typically typical matchbox humbrel colour call outs underneath and then we open it like so not a traditional leaf like this and here we go. So you start off with your, just bring in a bit. Start off with your sort of drive wheels, main drive wheels, and the, uh, uh, the drive wheels for the half track element of it, and the main road wheels as well with the axle at the front. And then you're building up all those uh, tank-like wheels for the half track. Whoops! Excuse me. Handling it very well. Then we've got the sides of the actual bodywork and the floor going in over the chassis uh, including your rubber band tyres here and then you're building it all up then with your roof your dividers, windscreen etc, drivers area uh, and then obviously the divider to the, the back end with the, the tailgate or so, so to speak and then you have the roof and your men sitting on the benches coming in your bonnet and your radiator going on the front, headlights, driver going in, and your doors and side panels here. Very impressive little thing, I've got to say. Um, and then we've got the pack 75mm gun. We're going in with, the, first of all, the barrel goes in, and the recoil system, and the armour plating across the front. Then you're building up your axle and your stabilisers, and then bringing those two together underneath. And then finally you make your motorcycle and motorcyclist. Uh, plugging in your sidecar and the rear wheel, sidecar wheel. Motorbike seems to come in ready assembled in one piece, which is quite cool. Uh, and then we're building up this incredible diorama I mentioned. So you've got quite a few parts for the building uh, and the roadway outside. And then you pop them all on there at the end. Uh, it's quite a nice kit, isn't it? I, I really think that's quite excellent. Actually. Let's have a look at the actual parts though before we uh, get too carried away. So, sprue. Now then, here we go. So this is the, obviously the roadway outside. This is on like a dark brown sprue. Uh, quite a busy sprue, it's got to be said here, because we've got, so I'll move that out of the way because I'm going to confuse the camera. So we've got all the road wheels here. Then we've got the roof, beautifully with this like, stretched tarpaulin roof, which is really nice. You know, this is Matchbox we're talking about, it cost a pound, yeah? I mean, that's excellent, look at that. Fabulous. Uh, then you get your soldiers here. All sitting along there in a little row, on a, a row of three on either side. And they look nice. They, they did figures very well, did Matchbox, I think. 
actually, you can actually buy them as well in sets, a bit like the Airfix ones, uh, you know, German infantry, British infantry, etc. Then we've got motorcyclist here and driver here, so we've got all your men together. And again, the figuring of these is, is really nice, but really accurate. Then you've got your drive wheels and your main wheels for your uh, half track. And then we've got, yeah, we've got the uh, the eagle, Nazi eagle, whoops. Uh, but there's no swastika on that, so I don't know if that's on a... Yeah, they've actually avoided that, haven't they? Which is probably for the better. Yeah, it would of course have a swastika on it, um, but they don't provide a swastika decal, which is probably just as well. Uh, you can paint it on if you wish to, obviously, on the, on the bottom. Um, and then you've got your bumper, and then you've got your wheels for your sidecar and your motorbike. That's a really nice sprue, it's quite busy. And of course I love the way they've done this, uh, they've moulded in all these tank tracks on the roadway. It really adds some realism. So I've got to say all in all, again no flash, no flash at all here. There's even some jerry cans there, fuel jerry cans, look. Excellent. That's brilliant. Really nice sprue. Second one we've got in this sort of light, sort of a tan colour, deserty colour, a desert yellow, isn't it? Basically, let's have a closer look at this one. So, you've got the sides of the half track here, you've got your armour plating for your pack 75mm cannon here, and then you've got the main chassis floor for the truck here. Motorbike, as I mentioned, all built in one piece. Um, here's your 75mm gun for the cannon here, artillery piece, and then you've got your stabilizers here that uh, help to counterweight it and hold it steady when it fires. Uh, back of the truck here, and there's the windscreen here. <laughs> uh, but one thing that strikes you is just very well moulded, you know, and there's no flash, and it's nice, you know, it's uh, it's got character, it's it's almost like a slightly sort of caricaturish, I know, a little bit cartoonish almost, but in a good way, I think. I just think it's, uh, they're very small at the end of the day, but look at them, you know. Very, very nice little uh, pieces, you know, and it does, it does remind you of a Monopoly sort of size, especially the motorbike, doesn't it? You know, and it's a sidecar, obviously plugs in here, like this, like that. There we go. Whoops. He says. So that's how it goes. Motorbike sidecar, and obviously your wheel goes where my thumb is. But there, there we are. That's very nice. And then finally, third, third and final sprue. Um, just bring you out a bit. There we go. And this has got all the building, quite a lot of the building in it, and some of the running gear. So we've got the uh, the main running gear for the uh, axles for the chassis here on the uh, half track, and we've got the there. We've got the front axle. Front axle here, steering wheel. Uh, we've got various um, parts. Looks like the gear, the gear shifter, and then we've got the bench seats here that the soldiers are going to sit on. And then the rest of it really is the building, um, which looks great with this. You know, if you weather this all and paint it in different layers, that's going to be absolutely brilliant. You've got you know real damage. You know, chunks out of the corner of the wall and. You can see all the different layers of the way the building was constructed, which looks very real. Uh, even down to things like the steps, look. The steps have got big chunks out of it as well. Look at that. That's really cool. <laughs> I love it. I think that's really good. It's got lots and lots of character in there. And, uh, you know, with just a little bit of, uh, bit of painting and a bit of weathering, that is surely going to turn into really quite an impressive kit with a you know, built-in diorama. It's going to be uh, uh, really a, sort of a, almost a museum piece. I've also got the, um, the decals which I skipped over. Let's just get back to those because there are some decals here. Not many of them, obviously. But you can see, he's got the uh, you've got the Africa Corps. Um, emblems and little grey ones here, don't you see that? So they do include a, a very very small, aren't they? They do include a swastika there. 
in the middle, it's palm tree, the swastika in the middle of it, and then the rest is all your uh, registration plates for the vehicles. That's kind of it really. Um, I think that uh, this is a, one of those classic kits that um, Matchbox, people have probably built this and will recognise it and say, oh yeah, I remember that, it was really good fun, you know, little, little tiny men and all the little motorbikes. It's great, it's got lots of character, it's oozing with animation and little men, buildings, you know. So you, you end up with a sort of a set piece diorama just from, just from the box, you don't need to add anything really. So I have to say, um, I give that sort of a, for its, for its age, you know, relative, I give that sort of a 9 out of 10, I think it's got a hell of a lot in that box. Keep you occupied for several days building it all up, weathering it all up, you know, getting some mud down and you can even have it with snow if you wanted to, you can make it look like a snowy scene if you really wanted to. Um, it's got it's got legs, you know, you can do different things with it, you can develop it how you want. Anyway, there we go. So that's um, their kit is PK171. Still some of those around. In fact, I think I've got a couple of examples of this myself. I think that's the nicest one. Lovely kit, lots of character, no flash, no problems at all. You just throw it together, no, no trouble. And you can personalise it with your own skill and that'd be really nice. So there you go, another winner from Matchbox from 1977. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please stay tuned because I'll hopefully have a few more over the sort of Christmas New Year period coming up uh, for you to watch and just a bit of light relief and a throwback to yesteryear and perhaps it might have been a present you've had in Christmas has gone by, Christmas has passed. <laughs> anyway, in the meantime, thanks very much. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.